Cody back here again with another Vinyl Finds video, and uh, gonna go kind of right into it. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show um, is actually from the uh, gentleman's collection that I had spoke about in the uh, previous Vinyl Finds video, and man, some of the stuff I'm pulling out of this and some of the stuff I'm seeing in this collection is just absolutely amazing. There's some stuff that I'm kind of hoping that he still has later on if I can go back and get it. Just some of the stuff though, I mean, some of it is kind of pricey, but a lot of it is just immaculate shape, just stuff you do not see every day. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff I'm going to show in here, it's, I can't believe that I finally, you know, some of the stuff I've had on my like want list on Discogs for a long time to be able to finally have it. And all this stuff that I have, it's like it's maybe been played once, maybe twice. It's like pretty much like new condition. A lot of it still has the shrink wrap and the hype sticker still intact and on it. Uh, but this is just an absolutely amazing collection. And just each week, uh, he puts out new stuff from his collection every Saturday. And man, it's just like you see in the list, it's it's a good thing and a bad thing. Because, uh, man, I have spent a decent amount of money in the last... A month or so on this guy's uh, collection. The first thing I'm going to show though, uh, nothing too crazy rare, but that's a uh, Vanilla Fudge, Spirit of 67. Uh, this is their first album since like 2005 or six, maybe. It's uh, this, and this came out in 2015. When this actually came out, I actually, you know, one of those albums I wanted to get and just couldn't find it in any record store and I never bothered you know, ordering it online, but it is on this collared vinyl as well. And it's, uh, you know, Great sound of Vanilla Fudge album. And, you know, just like most of the Vanilla Fudge stuff, it's just doing covers of songs from, like, the 60s. It's got uh, Heard It Through the Grapevine, uh, Break On Through to the Other Side, uh, Ruby Tuesday, Rider Shade of Pell. But there's a lot of really uh, great songs that they uh, chose to put on this album and do covers of. So I'm uh, really happy to find that one, Vanilla Fudge, Spirit of 67. And then another one I picked out of this uh, that collection is a. This is actually a laser disc. This is not an album. It's a uh, Japanese laser disc of a uh, free, and uh, I always really like finding these uh, laser discs from um, like concerts and just music. I have a pretty good collection of uh, laser discs of like concerts and just uh, music uh, themed movies, but uh, one that it was relatively cheap and figured I'd pick it up out of that collection. And I uh, also picked up uh, Joe Bonamassa, You and Me, uh, 2006 album from uh, Joe Bonamassa. And uh, this is an original copy of Use Your Illusion 1, uh, 1991. This is a, a European pressing. But, you know, just again, just still in the shrink wrap styles, the hype sticker. Both albums just look I'm pretty much unplayed. I uh, really hope that I can find Use Your Illusion 2. Uh, he didn't have Use Your, Use Your Illusion 2 in the, this uh, stack, but I assume if he had all this other stuff and he has Use Your Illusion 1, I'm sure Use Your Illusion 2 is probably in the collection. And hopefully uh, next week he'll have it out. But I uh, haven't... It's one of those albums that I never honestly thought that I would own an original copy of Use Your Illusion. So one of those wounds I've wanted but never really seeked out i know they you know we have reissues that have come out more recently but uh definitely happy to have a real minty copy of an original uh pressing of usually use your illusion one and another album that this, i've had literally on my want list on discogs for years and years it's brad interiors this is an original uh, 1997 pressing again still in the shrink wrap uh actually played this earlier today I mean, it looks like it's never been played. Um, of course, uh, Stone Gossard's in this band. Uh, Mike Bergree actually plays a, a lot of uh, a lot of the songs on here too. Uh, like two or three, anyway. But I mean, just immaculate shape. But you know, just uh, just a fantastic album. This is their second album. In the uh, the lead singer, Brad. I think his name's Sean Smith. Actually, just recently passed away a couple months ago, so uh, kind of a uh, kind of sad. But uh, I mean, great vocals, definitely a great album. Very underrated band. I feel like Brad is kind of underrated, but uh, overall, great album. 
definitely one that I'm really happy that I finally have. And I also picked up Red Hot Chili Peppers out in LA. Again, original 1994 uh, copy, still in the shrink, still has the hype sticker. And so kind of a really nice collection of songs. Um, kind of some, it's got like pre-mix stuff, like Higher Ground, 12 inch vocal mix. It's got Hollywood, Africa's extended dance mix. So it's got, kind of got some extended mixes of songs. It's got some live songs like Castle Made of Sand and the Jimi Hendrix song. Um, but it's got demo versions. Uh, and overall, really good album. It, not the greatest sound quality for an album. I mean, they jam-packed 19 songs into uh, one single uh, LP. But uh, overall, again, looks like it's never been played. Still in the shrink wrap. And then I also picked up uh, Warrior Soul, Last Decade, uh, Dead Century. An original 1990 pressing of um, this album. Um, another band that I kind of feel like is you know, pretty underrated, but, uh, great, great album from, uh, Warrior Soul. In the, uh, this is actually the last album I have to show from that collection so far, and it's uh, Audio Slave Out of Exile. This is an original cop, 2005 copy as well, and it is on, um, clear blue vinyl. You know, again, still in the shrink wrap, still has the hype sticker. Um, I mean, just a great uh, al album from Audio Slave. Yes, I actually had the uh, Audio Slave's first album in there too, uh, original copy, but uh, I actually kind of passed on that one. And actually, I was in there earlier today and he still had it. But I had the music on vinyl version of uh, their first album, and I always heard it was like the same pressing plates that they used for those ones. So I passed on it because it was, I mean, it's kind of, it is a little bit pricey, so I didn't really feel the need to grab that immediately but uh you know maybe in a couple months if he still has it i might, uh, might grab it this is another one i actually got at the vinyl rescue project too it's not a part of the collection it's actually a newer album it's uh the newest l7 album scatter the rats i've actually been wanting to pick this up since it came out i've actually never seen it anywhere and he actually just uh, recently got it in so i picked it up from his shop but uh you know really really solid uh, l7 album like the first new album in a while but uh, definitely had to pick that up. But that's all the stuff I got at the uh, Vinyl Rescue Project. And I want to just go through them uh, quickly. But this collection is just, I mean, it's amazing. Every week, uh, seeing, the, like, seeing the stuff that he gets in, it's, it's just insane. All, like, all these rare records in one place. I mean, kind of like the time I went to uh, Irvington Vinyl. And this guy just had a bunch of boxes of records, just rare records on the floor. It just kind of like reminds me of that, but it's like times 10. I mean, just the amount of stuff this guy had in the condition is just absolutely crazy. But I do have a few more albums to show. Um, I talked about this a little bit in the last video. It's the Alive Throwing Copper Super Deluxe Edition um, that I ordered, pre-ordered, and I actually pre-ordered it off a site called You Discover Music. Um, and honestly, not the greatest experience with you discover music i pre-ordered this album and then like 10 days later it still hadn't came it was still listed as pre-order on their site so i emailed them and asked me you know, what was up is this on back order like when am i going to expect this it's been 10 days since it's been supposedly released and, and to their credit they did email me back relatively quick and they emailed me back with tracking and really gave me no reason as to why it took so long and kind of wonder if i didn't emailed them if I would still be waiting right now for it but once they emailed me with tracking I did get it a couple of days later so kind of a, a little mixed uh, feelings towards you discover music but I got it on there because I was able to get like 20% off and free shipping but uh, overall I ended up getting it so can't complain um, and honestly if I didn't get the 20% off I don't think there's any way I would have uh, bought this outright because I think it retails for $79.99 and it's you know a super deluxe edition I'm not really uh super certain what's super deluxe about this specific set because it really is just the two LPs you get the two CDs and a booklet which the booklet's really nothing special but uh and the two CDs is uh just the, the throwing copper 25th anniversary and uh, Woodstock 94 performance, which is, uh, you know, cool that they added the Woodstock 94 performance, but I would have, honestly, for the price, I think they should have had uh, three LPs and one of them being, you know, Woodstock 94 performance on 
a vinyl uh, because I mean, the CD is fine, but I mean, it would be cooler to have it on vinyl and for the set. And really, the LPs they have uh, like three songs that are like bonus that aren't on the original album, like "Hold Me Up," "We Deal in Dreams," and uh, but it's just like for the price, I feel like it should have been much much cheaper. Um, cause I'm not really sure like what's super deluxe about it, but you know, albums do sound good. They sound great. And, you know, Throwing Copper is an album that I wanted on vinyl for a long time. Uh, I know they had the music on vinyl version and I've actually passed on that before. Um, just cause when I went, the t one time I saw it in a record store is actually kind of, I, I think overpriced. Um, but I have this one now and you know, it's a solid sounding album. Uh, overall I'm glad I got it, but there's no way if I didn't get, uh, a discount on it I wouldn't have uh, paid full retail for because I just don't think for what you get it's necessarily worth it and the uh, last album I'm going to show is uh, the newest Violent Femmes album Hotel Last Resort uh, it came out a couple weeks ago and uh, actually was not able to find it in any record store but I was actually going to see the Violent Femmes and I actually saw them just last week so I was like I'll just wait and uh, pick it up there after a show because I'm sure they'll have copies and I picked it up at the show and actually got to meet um, a few of the band members, uh, Brian Ritchie included. Uh, Gordon wasn't signing autographs, but I was able to get Brian Ritchie, um, which is really cool meeting him. Um, just an absolute awesome, uh, awesome guy. Just a really nice guy. And this one is on yellow vinyl. I don't know if it's like a tour edition, because um, like Discogs actually doesn't have like the yellow one on there. I think they have a red one and a blue one. So I was actually kind of surprised when I opened this up and it was yellow. But uh, I really enjoy this album. They played like five or six songs off of it when I saw them. But man, Violent Femmes, amazing band live. I uh, do actually have a few clips that I'll eventually put up uh, from that show. But I mean, it's just a really, really fun show. Uh, meeting Brian Ritchie was a real highlight. And I was actually wearing um, this Violent Femmes. A new times shirt and uh he was actually pretty hyped that i was wearing this shirt i mean this is an original like 94 uh tour shirt and he was actually uh, pretty psyched i was wearing it and he actually insisted on autographing it so I, brian rishi actually signed that uh, top of the shirt right there but uh that's a great concert uh, ben folds was also there i seen ben folds uh, i was the third time seeing him and his shows are kind of all not, not bad they're good but and you've seen them once, you've kind of seen the same kind of show, but you know, overall enjoyable show, fun day. Um, but uh, that's all the albums I have to show. Uh, definitely probably we'll have a, a, another Vinyl Finds more uh, recently with that collection of stuff coming in because uh, I definitely have been buying records uh, more frequently uh, just out of this guy's collection because he's got stuff that I didn't even know I wanted. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks again guys for watching and I appreciate it and I hope everyone has a wonder wonderful and great day.